How's everyone? Okay, this is my neighbours, uh, but they give me permission to come in here. You can see the difference in colour there, that, that top. It's all been pointed, the whole wall, because I'm getting ready for a flyer now on the roof. Uh, you can see how bent that guttering is up there on the main roof. Everything's all to cock. It's all coming off. And uh, I haven't got the tiles yet, but I've got everything else. I can make it waterproof. Um, look at this abortion here for guttering. I don't know the old thought of that, but I've heard it was this neighbour here who did it like that. And it runs around the corner, it just runs down, and it's causing problems. Same as that gutter in there, look, it comes down there, and it's just like it's soil pipe, that is, you know, for. For human waste, that's what that is, but it's all I could do with it until I could get around finishing it. So all this has been pointed, it's all done, I've just washed it down a little bit. It's starting to dry. Uh, tomorrow I'm fetching the boards for the roof, 2.5 metres long, which is about 8 foot, something like that, and about 2 foot wide. Uh, and uh, we're going to strip this off got to put all new wood in the garage roof because it's absolutely rotten I'll show you that tomorrow and uh, we're going to crack on with it just want to show you this today hide a van I do have a trailer but uh, I need a tow bar and my car's out of commission at the moment same as my laptop uh, I bought all this wood look there's enough there to do one side morning everybody it's 10 to 11 and end of September now you can see the state of this roof. Okay, look. This is a, what you call a bodge artist. Okay, look how he's notched these into the wall when they should be sitting on the wall plate on the top. So I've got to take all this down, I've got to start again. And you can see the four and five foot apart between, there's only one, two, three, four. Four on this stretch, and this stretch is six metres long, which is about 18 foot. Okay, uh, so everything's got to come off, including this wall plate, and I've got to start again. So I'm going to crack on with it, and I'm going to try to join up to the original spars, which is what he should have done. That's the original spars from the main roof there, look. Okay, and he's just notched these into the fascia board and put a piece of wood underneath it to hold it up. That's it. That's how he's done that. Anyway, all this is coming out now. So... Uh, all right, I'm going to put one on this end here, and the only way I can fix it, the only way I can fix it is uh, maybe screw a piece of wood to that wall there and, and rest it on there. So we'll do it that way. Anyway, I'm going to crack on, and I'll show you how we are when we've got this done. I've got to make it watertight today. Okay, I've got to show you this. This is how how he's fixed his guttering brackets there. Look, he just put them on the wall plate, not screwed them in, and just put the foam that's it what's name foam around it and that that's it look and that one's the same look all right so that's how the guttering's fixed all that's coming off all this is coming off uh and i'm going to put a, a fascia board on there uh, on the front and fix new guttering on i've got a lot to do today so i'm going to crack on but i'd just like to show you what a, a toss of this guy is so I've removed all the wood now I've just got to tidy up there along there uh, and now I'm pulling off this fascia board to expose the, the main uh, roof beams there and then I've got some wood here which I will go up the side of there and I will join to that with screws and nails uh, maybe get up as far as two feet uh, and then j and take it down to there and rest it on that wall and I should get this covered in today. I'm going pretty good. It's only 20 past 11 now. Now you can see what I was trying to explain now. You can see now the, the ends of these. <clears throat> and they're not cut straight. Look, where well, they are. But when you put them on an angle, then it's on an angle. So that's got to be cut like that. Not this one, but further down. They've got to be cut like that so I can get a fascia board on. Uh, along there. And get some new guttering on on here we can see this is a complete abortion uh, so I've got my work cut out and I'm mainly doing it alone 
So anyway, I'm going to crack on and get the rest of this fascia board off and expose these spar ends there. So it's nearly three o'clock and we've got all the spars in. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and that's my helper of the day, my wife. She's worked damn hard. And uh, now we can board it in. This is as far as I got yesterday, and let me just come back. I got that uh, stripped off, got all the new wood in. I got it lap felted, and I got a fascia board on the front here. Uh, so today I'm going to put guttering up along there, cut these ends off, square them up, maybe try and get the um, board on, on, on here, this, this board, uh, this uh, barge board. Uh, and get that finished off. Just going to bring you up to speed on on this roof. Okay, I'm waiting for tiles. It's about a two week wait, but I can still strip and uh, get the rest of the sheets off. And um, it rained pretty heavy yesterday, so we weren't able to do anything. But it it stayed completely dry. What I have done is I've put the fascia board on here now. Let me just open this. Neighbour said I can go in. And I've put some guttering on. Uh, because uh, what was up there before was an abortion. Right, I don't know whether you can see properly there, but I put all new guttering on the fascia board. Which is how that one wants to be there. That will be next. I'm going to strip that off next. Uh, if I get the scaffold and waiting for some scaffold coming today, that's all completely pointed now uh, and, and that side's a bit darker than here because it was constantly getting wet for years and years and years About 20 years. It was just leaking on there uh, But that should be fixed now. I've done the guttering uh, I brought this uh, Outlet down here. I'm either going to bring that down and run it down there or maybe I'll along this thing here and run it along there and run it off into the street uh, I think that might be the best bet uh, but I've got the barge board on there now the general idea is uh, let me go here I've got to measure that through from one end to the other to see how the tiles work out and if it works out with a half inch or two inch or two and a half inch overhang then that's what I'll have to do but um, what I want to do is I want to say see these these things on the edge there I want to save them because they've got two straight edges on and here they are I'll show you on here we've got two straight edges on these for example uh, and I want to cut them straight down there and use a, a nice straight edge and show that side uh, and put them on the ends there so it supports the tiles so I'm saving them you'll see when it's done anyway and it should give it a nice finish uh, I don't know what I'm going to encounter when I get up there because they're coming off next I don't know how wide it is under there um, but I hope it's not more than 18 centimeters because I couldn't get any wider wood uh, it, it's that wide look and, and that looks like it's not enough but we'll see so I've got this part stripped off, another five boards off, and I'm just covering it in because it's forecast some rain today, but whether it'll come or not, I don't know. I just want to get it covered in quick. Then I can concentrate on the next five and then right to the top. But I've encountered all sorts of problems here with this overhang. There's an overhang about two foot there, and all it's supported with is that wood that's under the things there, and, and these... Uh, uh, barge boards are just nailed onto it there 
So I've got to take them away to get down and put the boards on. So when I take them away, I'm actually taking the strength away that holds these barge boards on. So I've had to do some reinforcing under here uh, and then nail it back. Okay, it's all done. I've got another 10 sheets. 10 sheets to come off here. Uh, and then that brings that all level. And then I've got roughly, well I can't say the same mass again because it looks more. And then I've got that lot, however many sheets that is. So quite a lot of sheets here and this is just one side, it's a big roof this is. Okay, we've got this bit stripped off this morning, covered in, so that's covered in. Uh, we're going so well, it's only quarter to eleven. We've decided we're going to strip the next bit off here. Uh, and now you can see how we've done it. I wanted to show you this. We're putting boards on lot here, because the span here is like four and a half feet. And if I just put lacks on there, they'll sag in the middle. So I've got to put boards on there. And I'm putting these sprags in here. These 4B2s to help to support these boards. And now in the moment we're just taking these 4B2s off. Uh, and the uh, screw to that. But then, so one, two, three off. And bingo. We can get this board and lathered in. Uh, and all this stuff here is just shit from animals. Animals have been in here. Martins. What they call Martins nearly as big as a cat and this place is just full of shit there you go it's done so just that end bit to do now now apparently the forecast for the neck creek is really good um, I could work on it tomorrow you can, here's the new fascia board which I'm trying to show you there, there. There, look. That's, it's there that brown wood uh, and I've done that Till about four foot from the end and then I'll be able to put straight to guttering on it and run it away anyway so like I was saying forecast for next week's very good so I can't see any reason why I can't have that stripped off tiles maybe sometime next week and it's all watertight now and I'm happy about that so next stage will be to get that done Next stage, we're starting to strip this off, and this is the gable end lot, okay, and you can see that there's no, there's nothing, no sprags in there to hold this up. This is literally being held up by this wood here, that's all, this wood from underneath is nailed into that, and that's all that's holding that up. In fact, you can see there that there's two different sizes of wood as well, that piece and the other piece is slightly different. So what I'm going to do <coughs> is I've put my fascia board on there right to the end now and I've cut it, this fascia board, and I'll put this fascia board on up there and it will come right up to here. So when I run the lats through I'll be able to nail the ends of the lats in there uh, and that will hold everything up and the fascia board will be screwed into that. So that should be quite stable then. I've got knocked these blocks out because they're above the, the line there. I'm actually on the veranda here, so that's quite useful. I've got another 10 sheets or so to get off yet. And uh, I've got to knock these, these blocks out there because they're standing above the, the spars. Uh, and then I've got to take all this wood off. You can see that that's absolutely rotten. Uh, there was a, a few wasps, but not that many, but they've gone now. We didn't get attacked. And you can see how these ends are, are, are miles below here. Just miles below. 
absolutely clean. I do not know what this guy was thinking about. Had this building stood up this long, I do not know. Anyway, we'll get the rest of the sheets down and then we can get it lattered in. Forecast pretty good for today and tomorrow. Uh, so I want to get these sheets off and maybe get the first run of lats on here. And then I can uh, get the guttering done or finish off latting and get the guttering done. Show me that ball. Okay, the old slide's complete now. We've stripped it all off. Alice is there, she's a better roofer than yeah. most people. She's certainly a good labourer. And you can see it's done right to the end. Okay, tiles coming tomorrow, but we've still got this side to do. Uh, but this should be easy now because I can just lower the sheets down here uh, from this side. So it's going to be easy from now on. And uh, oh, there's a cushion gone down there. Look, so I need to retrieve that cushion. And that's it, we broke its back now. Um, I will be really happy when this is lap folded in because then I know I've only got to tile it. Uh, but that's going to be odd work getting the tiles up here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 quarters. Right, so what we're going to concentrate on now, I think, is getting this side done, getting the guttering on, getting the fascia boards finished, uh, and the, the barge boards on the end here, they're going to be done. Um, the boards that I put on underneath these lats, uh, I, I brought most of them this way, I've staggered them a bit to help support this end because from about here there's nothing supporting that um, the way he did it was just terrible but uh, now I've staggered the boards right through to here this point uh, and, and they're holding that up so that should be okay so I am ready for a beer and a bath we've had a very very two hard days now um, Let's see what else am I going to do. Uh, I'm going to put a fascia board down there, but I need to, to fill in that with cement there and stonework, get that sorted out, and so I can get a fascia board on that. Uh, and I'll be a happy guy. When this side's done, the scaffold can come down. The scaffold here, look. There, the scaffold here. And it's not much good for anything, really. Except for getting this fascia board on. Anyway, I'm down the ladder there. This is the the shortest side. So we're using this as like a base, you see. It's only a few feet down. Hello. So there you go. Everything. All done. So that's what it looks like from this from this point. And it's been a beautiful two days. The weather's been with us since we started it, really. So, and it's completely watertight now, so I, I'm happy about that too. Okay. Oh, look, that's my wife on her own, look. She weighs about 55 kilo, and she's <laughs> doing this on her own. And believe me, these bloody sheets are heavy. Yeah. Crazy woman. This is Matt, Alice's son. He's come to help me today. We've got the scaffold up. And we're taking these, these fascia boards ends off and we're cutting these down so it's straight and we can put a straight fascia board on okay finished for the day i just want to show you what i've done and give you some sort of idea 
I've had to go down and buy a special saw because these beam ends are like rock. Uh, I'll show you what I mean here. And I've, I've had to cut them down a lot and then cut them back here. Uh, let me show you why. Now, this is how he finished them. Look, there you go. And you can see now that those beam ends are not uh, straight. Well, they are if you lay them down flat, but I've had to mark down there and then cut these off so they look like that. And then I've had to cut the underneath off. And you can see there where I've got a, a piece of fascia board on. Look now, and it's straight. Okay, this is a better example. You can see the fascia board on there and that's running straight and it's on there straight and then you can see where the old fascia board was and the angle it was at up there absolutely talk about a jerry built yeah exactly we've had a delivery of tiles there's 2,000 tiles there and they've all got to go up there look and then we've got these vent ridge there look I like vent tiles and the ridge tiles which go on the top uh, you can see I've started putting a new fascia board up there I've got to get another piece cut uh, and nail it on underneath that because I can't get any wider crazy can't get any wider wood than uh, 20 centimeters which is about 10 inches something like that I've tried everywhere and nobody does it crazy country there you go uh, so I've got to put two pieces on and I don't know if you can see with that sun, I put the guttering up there, look on the back. You just see between the two buildings here, the guttering's on. And the fascia board's finished off. It's all done in. Uh, we can start getting tiles up soon. That's the next stage done. It's all loaded out with tiles now. And got the other side strip off yet. But that's as far as I've got. I'm going down to see about some more materials for the other side today. Uh, I'm going to have a day or so's rest now from this because he took it out of me loading that out yesterday. But I, I got it done. I got a little bit of help when I was about halfway through. Two guys from the football club come and helped me. I'd like to thank them. Tommy and uh, Rene. So if you're roofing, that's how you keep your tiles straight. So I've marked it out at the top. I think I've done some video on marking out. Uh, and now I'm laying the tiles. And that's why we go one over so they're not in my way. And I have to keep moving them all the time. So you go one over. And then you can put that. And I'm just checking. And it's not quite on the line here. But these tiles have a little bit of clay in them. And there I'm bang on the line. I do every three courses and nail it. Not quite on the line. And again, the line's not always accurate. And I'll just show you in a minute when I've nailed this course how straight they are. And that helps you to keep your tiles straight. Again, not quite on the line. So just for me I'll get these nails in and I'll, I'll take the camera off Alice who's filming me and I'll show you how straight they are if you look up there that line absolutely straight and, and this one will be the same and here's the line look you can see the red line if you stick to that red line you can't go wrong I've marked it out I should have just over a quarter of an inch over hang that end look out the same at the other end which is down there, but I'm starting to tile now. I'm leaving this garage, I'm not tiling that, because I've got to get up and down here, So, and I've got to finish this, this gable end here, so I'm not tiling it, but I want to tile this in. This is the bottom course that runs through all the way along, as you can see, 
and you see where uh, where those joints are on on this felt the felt joints well the water when it rains it rained very heavy yesterday uh, the water runs under there and runs back wherever the, it wants to go and then it drips on there all night and, and we can't see we got a bit of water in the top yesterday which came in the house it weren't so bad uh, but I came up when it was raining yesterday and I just uh, the wind was blowing this direction towards me and it was just blowing this felt up uh, and any water was just going under there look you can see there but I got these these uh, lats and then nailed the felt down tiled in okay just got the gable end to do with that gable end this gable end okay so not a bad day's work I put vent ridge in at the top you can see there at one two three four five and um, looking forward to getting this done uh, moving that gutter up because it's a bit low that gutter on the back not this gutter here but the gutter on the back I've just got to move that up it's a little bit low and um, gable ends done then I can start on the other side apparently Thursday's going to be a nice day 20 celsius so I'm going to get stripped off as much as I can so uh, and while I'm here big shout out to Simon Kyrollis how are you doing Simon uh, and also Kenny Sampson, two good friends who never fail to write to me on YouTube. So anyway, just go up the ladder here and show you from this angle. So there you go, it's looking quite neat now, better than, better than that crappy stuff there, look, which is asbestos. So good solid tiles on. Looking nice, very level, very straight, quite happy with it. See you next time. Beautiful day today. What's the date? 20, 24th, 25th of October? 24, 25 or 26. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, we've started the backside now. Look. Uh, no scaffold up. But um, we've got the veranda here, which is quite useful. So we use that as a, as a base sort of thing. Brought everything up there. And I've stripped off three, three, three things. It didn't start till late, so I've done pretty well, really. I'm not doing any more. It's too late now. It's gone five o'clock, and it's dark in an hour, less than an hour. And I've just sealed it up there, make sure, because we're expecting some bad weather. Um, and I've just put these these lats across here, and that will hold that down. I've gone two rolls over onto those tiles so there's no way will it get under so it's going to be perfectly dry in fact more dry than, than it ever was uh, and I've got behind this chimney stack look I put some felt in there and um, I brought it right up look this felt right up right up the chimney stack so it's not going to leak I took that took that right up there look you see up the chimney stack and this side's tiles as I showing you except for this end look so I've got all the tiles up for this uh, and I want to attack all all of the gables at the same time sort of thing so basically that's done except for the garage and the gable end there so that's it another day tomorrow uh, if it's not bad weather then maybe we'll strip another three off and uh, which is about only about 10 or 12 feet and uh, just keep doing it bit by bit like that when it's all stripped off and it's all felted in like this I'll be a happy guy because I know winter's coming and I want to get this done before it uh, before it comes next week's going to be November but today is absolutely beautiful short sleeves look it's about 20 or 22 celsius which is about mid 70s or early early 70s Fahrenheit for you over there in the states and um, ready for a flyer tomorrow. Let's see how the weather is. We've just uh, topped up on boards again for the other side. So been and spent another five or six hundred dollars. I had this van as well because I still don't have my car back. And we're just about to take this back to Bratislava. Amazing. This is not before the big push on the roof.